Hello everybody and welcome to episode 3 of Undertale English and Japanese Comparison. In the last episode we met Sans and his brother Papyrus, braved many puzzles, though most of them off screen, and made it to the town entrance. Now let us go inside and see what awaits us in Snowden. Um, I mean Snowfall. Right. I'm not really sure why the name has been changed, but okay. Our first point of interest is the shop. Let's see what they've got for sale. The first item on the list is the Manoli Bandana, or Isamashi Bandana in Japanese. It's been theorized that the English name references an item from Mother 3, or to be more precise, its name from the fan translation. The Japanese name of this item doesn't reflect that, though, since in the Japanese version of Mother 3 the same item was called Otokogi no Bandana. The bicycle was renamed Babiko, and I honestly have no idea what the new name is supposed to be referencing, so if you know, please let me know because it's been driving me nuts. The cinnamon bun became the cinnamon key. The Japanese description says, even though it has monkey in the name, it resembles a rabbit. Next, let's visit the inn. In Japanese, it's been renamed to Snoteru, a combination of snow and hotel. Maybe that's why the town's name has been changed, hmm? There's also an interesting change to what the NPC with a bunny on the leash says. In English she says, Bun buns are so adorable. In Japanese, it's Charm pointo wa oshiri. The cutest part of the bunny is the butt. I mean, it's probably supposed to refer to the tail, but it's still an interesting thing to say. By the way, if you go to the screen, which is later going to become a stopping point for the boat, you might get a call. A call from a wrong number. Even in the Japanese version it starts out in English before going into the wrong number song in Japanese. If you go to Grillby's, there is this fishy looking guy sitting at the counter. Here's what he says in English. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. What he says in Japanese is a little bit different. The beginning is similar enough, but then he says I don't know if there are any girls in the river, though. And then he adds that he's going to go out with any girl that bites, even if she's a fish. Next, we have the library. And yes, the sign is also misspelled in Japanese. It says Toshonka instead of Toshokan. Now, interestingly enough, if you read the third book from the left, the one about what would happen if someone with a strong killing intent tried to attack a monster, you'll find that there is a rather big change to its ending. In English, it just ends with, let's end the chapter here. In Japanese, after that line, there is something that wasn't here in the English version. Keiki no recipe de mo shirushite oko. Let's put a recipe for a cake or something here. I don't know whether this is something that used to be here in the English version and just got left out in the actual game and the Japanese translation just put it back in, but either way, it's a pretty interesting change. And that's about all there is to see in the town, so let's make our way outside to see Papyrus. There are some minor differences in his dialogue. For example, when you choose to flirt with him, 
the ultimate feelings became Honto no Kimochi. The I'm a skeleton with very high standards line is closer to But do you really think you're good enough for me in Japanese? And if you answer with I can make spaghetti, he says Nanto, kisama wa kanzen ni ore sama no type da. Or, what? You're my type then. There are also some changes to what Papyrus dabs behind his non existent ears. For example, marinara sauce became tomato sauce. The MTT brand Bishi Cream was turned into meta brand Ikemen Cream. Ikemen is a word that refers to a handsome man. And by the way, we also get our first glimpse into how all the MTT stuff is going to be translated. Besides the marinara sauce and the bishi cream, there's one more item that's been changed. Cute juice was translated as ikemen juice. Make of that what you will. There's also a big change to Papyrus's super cool normal attack. You might recall the part of the attack where he makes words made of bones come rushing at you. In English, they spell cool dude. In Japanese, this was changed to ikadeta kogeki, which translates something like crazy attack. As for what Papyrus says after the battle, there's a slight change in tone to when he says Who knew that to make friends all I had to do was to give people awful puzzles and fight them? In Japanese, he sounds more like he's patting himself on the back, saying I knew this was what I had to do. By the way, where in English Papyrus says that the king wants to acquire a human because he wants to open the barrier with soul power, in Japanese he says Ningen no tamashi no chikara de baria o koasu, which means that he specifically says that the king wants to open the barrier with the power of a human soul. It's a minor difference, but I just thought it would be interesting to note. And I think this is a good stopping point for now. In the next episode, we'll visit Papyrus in his house and see about that date. <laughs>